Hello and welcome to Boxing Social. It's me, Glenn McCrory, and I've got here a very special guest. He's flown in from America for a homecoming in the, the beautiful place of Donegal in Ireland. It's Jason Quigley. Jason, what's it like to be home? Unbelievable, as you've seen, you know, Glenn out there, the support's unbelievable. Um, this is what keeps me going. You know, I'm a, fa I'm a long way away from home, out in LA, and, you know, coming back here and knowing the support that I have, it keeps me going out there. And people say, you know, LA this, LA that, but you know yourself, once you're in training camp, it's eat, sleep, train, repeat, you know, and that's exactly the way it is out there. But of course, then when I get my downtime, I can enjoy the <laughs> enjoy the the real parts of LA. Then your thirteen fights undefeated, ten knockouts, great start to your career. Just coming off a, your best win, the North American Boxing Federation title. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. You know, as I said earlier in the speech, you know, for everybody before that fight, that was my world title fight, and now that I got it. It was only a minor step on the road that I want to go down. So for me you now, that was just a stepping stone to where I want to get to. I want to be able to come back here that I'm going to have to put the belts in bags. You know <laughs> what I mean? I don't want to just be settled with being a champion. I want to go out there and I want to be great. And that's the reason why I work so hard because I know now the level that boxing is at. I know now the level of the middleweight division and I'm starting to taste what it's like and to be honest I just love it and I'm really looking forward to it. You are, you are world amateur number one, you're, you're undefeated as a professional now, it's a great division, the middleweight division, some big names yeah. in there, we've got Golovkin and Canelo fighting soon, when do you think you're going to be up there with the, with the big guys? Before when people interviewed me and mentioned Canelo and Golovkin, I looked at them as like idols, you know, I looked at them as like people that I look up to. Now when you say them, I get nervous <laughs> because I know what can be down the line for me and I know that them men can be waiting there for me. They're champions. They are where I want to get to. So of course I'm looking at them. I'm looking at their weaknesses. I'm looking at what they're strong at, but I don't fixate myself on them because you know boxing as well as anybody. Who says when my shot comes that they're gonna be the champion? Of course. So why would I do all my training, base it all around the champions, and when it comes I could be in with a guy the same as myself, coming up through the ranks and getting ready for the big title shot. So for me, I concentrate on my own performance. I concentrate on perfecting everything, making myself the best I possibly can be and when my shot comes, I'll be ready for it. You've attracted the best of the best in Golden Boy and yeah. Oscar De La Hoya. So, do you think that's gonna be a, a big bonus for you? Well, name me another promoter out there that has been to the levels that Oscar has been to, mm. that has been promoted, that has been managed, knows what it's like. You know you've been a professional, you know what the professional game is like. It's not as much of a support as a sport anymore, it's a business slash sport and that's what we have to remember. Me and Golden Boy have a great relationship, my team management have a great relationship, Sheer Sports and you know every professional boxer going forward needs a good stable around them because if you have a good stable around you, you go into that ring mentally confident and that's one of the biggest things I think that a person should go into the ring with. And the big question is, when are we going to see Jason Quigley in Ireland? Definitely, very, very soon. I've been talking to my management, I've been talking to Golden Boy, and I have told them, I says, I couldn't really tell them a year ago, because mm. I was only coming up. I didn't have the reputation to start kind of, not calling shots, but to start making my thoughts heard. And now, you know, getting a belt, proving myself, you know, I think now was the time to start saying to them, I want to go home. I want to fight at home. Because you see a turnout here in a small town where I'm from. Imagine what my country would do if I came back for a major fight. And I want to come back with a major fight. I don't want to come back on an undercard or I don't want to come back on a small fight. I want to come back big. I want to come back with big fights 
not for just me, but for this country, because the support that I've had is unbelievable, and Ireland is crying out for big time boxing, pay per view boxing back in this country. Well, Jason, it's a pleasure to have you on Boxing Social, and we look forward to seeing you back in Ireland, and we look forward to seeing you back in action. Appreciate God bless. it. Thanks Good very luck, much, Glenn. Thank Cheers, you. Pa.